senior year at Mestro again, my friend David's father pulled me aside and he asked, have you ever thought of medicine? He's like, as a father, I have to tell you, if you learn how to heal someone, no matter where you go in the world, the blueprint's the same. Whatever your art is, you can help another human being anywhere in the world. My chosen career was not medicine, but how I got here, I just had to keep my ears open and be open to the disappointments, which really weren't disappointments at all. They were opportunities that I just couldn't see at that time. You can't be afraid of what you perceive as failure because what you perceive as failure may be the next step to your success. The head of glaucoma at UCLA came up to me one day after Grand Ronde and said, hey Mike, you still wanna do glaucoma? And I said, yeah, of course. That was a plan from the beginning. He goes, you got a spot with us here. We're at UCLA? Yeah. Why? Because I like the way you teach. I like the way you are with Raz. See how you are. You love it. There's a certain amount of gratification that comes from passing along information to someone and watching it click in their mind. My parents' intention with Mesrobian was to make sure we learned our heritage and our language, how to speak, how to read, right? But a spinoff from that was that it actually came in very handy for me in my professional life as well. Now in my office, I have so many Armenian patients and I dealt with so many in the past and some of them only spoke in Armenian. So there's a level of comfort when you share language with patients that they bond to. At the end of the day, that was all because of Mesrobian. My name is Michael Kapamajian and this is my Mesrobian story.